Hi everyone, Chrissy from GoZips.com. I'm here at James A. Rhodes Arena, where Zips Men's Basketball has just defeated Northern Illinois University with a final score of 62 to 54. It was a big win for the Zips tonight with Toledo's loss, and now puts Akron tied for first in the MAC overall. Demetrius Treadwell was tonight's deciding factor for the Zips. He led all players in scoring with 25 points and 10 rebounds, six of which were on the offensive side of the ball. Tree now leads the MAC in double doubles. Let's go to head coach Keith Dambra for his thoughts on tonight's game. Well, it was a grind, and uh, Tree carried us. If we hadn't, had, if we didn't have him, we probably would have scored about 30 points. Um, but they're a good defensive team, good rebounding team, and they've done that to most everybody in the league, really. Um, and we just don't have many options. I mean, right now we're playing those young kids. We're green as we've ever been. This is as slim as our team's ever been, as far as. Uh, you know, just experience, you know, DG hadn't played in five games, really. He played four minutes in maybe the last five or six games. So he's not in great shape. And uh, we just, we played good enough defensively over the last seven games to win our share of games. Like, we're like a football team that can't pass. You know, we got to run it on every play almost. So that's kind of what we're in right now, but we have a chance to get better as we go here. So uh, every game seems like the same to me. Um, but we got enough, uh, enough character to win. We've shown it doesn't matter who we play. It's called, they're all going to be the same. We got, enough, uh, we got enough toughness to be in every game. We're just going to have to make plays when it matters. Simple as that. But I think, you know, we're going to get those guys back eventually. So once we get them back, then we have a, the ability come tournament time to take another jump. And we, we and the good thing is we have four out of the next six at home. So if the crowd comes out, that will help us. And I think we'll get rejuvenated also along the way because we only have really two more road games. So, so we've done a good job of winning close games this year, really. And if you look at it, we haven't really lost to a bad team all year. You can say South Carolina, but they play at such a high level that you can't even – can't even really say that, you know what I mean? But so who's beating us? Middle Tennessee, they've won a lot of games. Western Michigan beat us. Kent, Kent State is probably the worst record, you know. Uh, who else? Toledo. Toledo beat us, you know. So we've beaten some good teams, too. We beat Cleveland State. You know, we've, we've, we've beaten our share of good teams. And we've played a lot of good teams. So I think down the line, that's going to help us. And then now we're getting those young kids some experience, you know, like – Quan and Big Dog, now they're learning on the run. We didn't really have to rely on them before too much, but now we need them. Like, we need Quan to make those shots now. Before, if he came and made them, he fine, he stayed in, and if he didn't, he'd come out. Now he got to stay in. The Zips will hit the road Wednesday, February 19th, as they will travel to Buffalo with a time set at 7 p.m. They will return home Saturday, February 22nd, as they will play host Ohio University with a tip-off scheduled for 6 p.m. You can catch both games live on the Time Warner Cable Sports Channel. For ticket information, call 1-888-99-ACRON or visit ZipsTickets.com. For GoZips.com, I'm Chrissy Perbonic. We'll see you guys next time.